Okay, now I'm going to play it at the right moment. We're just not there yet. Shoot. <laughs> Let's play G3, Bishop G2. Boy Boy got 39th, yeah, yeah. Still, that's that's pretty harsh, chat. Like, when your mom compares you to Daniel Naroditsky, honestly, like, it's like, if you work really hard, you can be as good as Daniel. Like, that's a pretty harsh one. That's, like, that's not exactly, like, nothing. I mean, that that is pretty rough. I, I'm, I, I mean... Like, it's not, you have to be compared to Daniel out of all the people you could be compared to. Like, if you study, you could be just as good as Daniel. Harsh. Really, really harsh. No, I'm not being savage, chat. Yeah, that's, what a terrible, oh, what a terrible fate. <laughs> well, it could be worse. They could say you could be like me. That would be even worse, honestly. Okay, let's go Queen C1 and takes and takes. Um... Yeah, Boy Boy was rated chat. He played in the California's Classic Championship in 2003. So yes, he he is he was a rated player. Um, no, it's not it's not actually a, it's not even a flex. It's like someone says that like you're just like I mean, but dude, like seriously, you can't compare like Daniel or myself. Like it's just not the same. I mean, I guess parents don't realize that, but that's just like a crazy expectation. Like that's just an insane expectation out of your kids. To be as good as we are at chess, like that's just a brutal, brutal. I mean, that's just really, really brutal. Let's play 93, maybe 95. Oh, is he have d5 here or something? He might have d5. So I'm gonna, uh, whatever. I'll still play rook c2 and rook c1. Okay, rook c1, of course. Guard the rook now on c2 twice. So I've got a pretty good position going on here. Uh, b4. Okay, now I can play a3. I can also move my queen. I can also move my rook somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to move my rooks. Just put my rooks on other squares. Maybe go f3 to stop the knight from jumping. Okay, that I thought was actually a bad move. So it creates a weakness now on b4, although I gave him d5. Oh, no, I can take and go knight a6, actually, with a fork. Tricky, tricky. Okay, queen b7. I think I should just play f3 here. Cut the square. If d5 is knight e3, I'll pre-move takes. Um, if d5 is knight e3, of course, and just take. I can't take the pawn because I lose the knight. So I take. Take. Thank you to, um, yeah, thanks again to, Nero Dis to GM Nero Disney for the five gifteds. Um, play Queen E3. Oh, I should have gone Queen B6. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, let's just take, play Rook A1, Rook A7, take the file, take the pawn, take the game. Uh, right triangle, of course. I get, I get it. Imagine if your parents said you could be as good as Boy Boy in League. You only practice is super unrealistic. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the point. It's just like, it's it's nuts. Like, really nuts. Oh, I might be... No, I might be succeeded Rook D1. Okay. Um, ah, yes. The old right triangle five head. Well, I mean, isn't Boy Boy is a genius? So, so that's... I figure I should do some math. Why not? Um, wait. Ta <coughs> wait. Takes, takes, takes. Takes 95. <laughs> 95 Queen e6 I have nothing okay um I mean this looks good I run out of a win he's got 95 maybe I can throw in some spammer in between no it doesn't work um uh, I guess I'm gonna do it anyway why not Actually, queen, knight d5, and maybe I have e4 there, even though my king is a little bit open. Oh, I should have checked and gone there, because then I would have had a queen e5 check at the end. Oh, I played the wrong order. 
but he doesn't see knight e5. Yeah, he didn't see knight e5, so it's all good. Um, but now I just wait. No, I just take, and now I take, and he just loses because I've got four kingside pawns. It's just too much. Um, even if he wins his pawn, it's just too much. So, hmm, maybe check. I guess here and check. I'll go e4, knight e5, I think. There's got to be something here, like here, put pressure on the pawn, and somehow rotate the knight. I'm just going to bring my king up. If b3, knight e2 just wins, he goes here. Now I think I just go like king g4. I'm just going to run my king up the board here. Um, I think maybe knight, knight up 6 is coming as well. I'm going to go knight up 6 is probably next move. Check, let's check. I have check and take. Maybe. No, probably just just e5. He can't move the rooks, he loses the pawn. Oh, I've won a knight up to me. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I've got e6. Check and king h3, and he can't he can't stop the multiple mating threats here. I just check mate. Look what's become of me. Okay, I'm gonna go knight c6, d6, e5 here. Pog, O oh, to 97, f5. I'm gonna play h5, bishop h6, try to trade off the dark sword bishop. It's behind this wall of pawn, so I wanna get rid of it. It's not a good piece. Let's take, and um, I guess I'll play c5 here. Play knight f6. Play B6 and takes. Oh, Albert, yeah, Albert, yeah, yeah. That's actually, I was gonna say that that's kind of interesting though when I see the league guys. Like, there's a big, there's there's a big uh, there's a big difference like in the demeanor. Like, obviously, um, boy boy, he's he's the most chill out of all of them. Whereas I feel like um, I feel like Albert is the most like intense. Because when I saw Albert trying to do chess last night, he was like super insane about it. He was just like. He was like super, super insane. He was like really, really intense. Um, so it's just interesting to note the difference uh, between like the between the different streamers. Just play, I guess, King H8 maybe. TSM Ablaze Olive also plays chess. Again, I think there are, there are a lot of people. Um, I don't know who this IM is, Chad. I have no idea. I'm gonna go Queen E8 and try to play Knight E7 and something down the road. Okay, but this doesn't actually concern me because I can go queen d7 and just kick the knight next move, so it's not really a, a big, big deal. Let's go a6, just remove, remove the knight. Just knight h7, remove the queen, and at some point I'm going to play for f5. Maybe knight e7, f5 right away, actually. He's got rook b6, but f5 looks very dangerous here. It plays f4, which feels too loose. But maybe it's a good move. Yeah, it's actually probably a good move. I'm going to take and play queen d8, knight g8. Again, I have to stop rook b6. e5, I take and play f6. And this king is very much in the center here. So that's why I'm not super concerned about this 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 uh move in the center thank you to scorpio uh scorpio xt for the two months rook this rook this don't you mean ice 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 dance or uh, ice skater this okay now i play f6 i have to stop e5 of course goes g4 that's a little bit loose i think i've got f5 this feels too loose somehow i feel like the king is going to become very open in a second after takes and bishop f5 Oh, he's got... No, that can't be right. Just take and take. He does it. Okay, so if I take, take, h5. h5, bishop, f5. Oh, h5, g5, h6, queen, f8. I don't really have a choice. I gotta go for it. Oh, he doesn't play knight f7. I was expecting him to play knight f7. He doesn't do it. So now, knight f5. 
looks fine here. So if h5, I go queen g5 check, and that ends the game. If he takes, I activate the bishop, and then really all my pieces are pretty well placed. Since king is very open here on um, on on d2, I'm also threatening knight g3 with the fork of the queen and the rook potentially. Rook f1, strange move. Okay, takes he wants queen g6, so that's logical. Um, I think I'll just play rook a7, guard the knight, um, and everything's kind of protected here. If h5 again, queen g5. Now I'm threatening to take because the rook covers the knight, so I can just move the knight since this rook on a7 is dual purpose. I want to bring the rook to f7 or e7 potentially, but I also protect the knight on h7, so it's very important. Is this a new season of arrow? <laughs> wait, what? Can he get away? Wait, what? What am I missing? I don't understand. I must be missing something, right? I... What am I missing? I don't understand. My rook guards the knight. My queen guards the rook. I must be missing something, I think. Thank you to kill the 38 for the gift of sub to Yaz, uh, Yazidoff. And I, by the way, I, should, I also misplayed this slightly, but I should have played, um, I should not have played this. Okay, so I take... I missed, wait, no, I didn't misplay this, because I have rook g7. Takes, but now I think I can make it check. And take, oh, takes. No, why do I allow this? Okay, but I have check. Let's see, three, I guess. I keep the pin alive. I also cut off the check on the dark square, so there's nowhere you can check me along this diagonal. And I'm gonna take the knight next move. I think I'm winning. He resigns. Okay, we keep going. Very, very dangerous game, but I find a way to win. We keep going. Let's play knight f3. Play b3, bishop b2. I'll play uh, I'll play e3. Here's the music too loud. I thought the music was good today, but maybe if it's too loud, it's too loud. Let's play d4. Um, c4. PVC hasn't been live for two days. I know, it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. Those of you who were um, from his channel, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Thank you to Jimmy Two Toes for the five dollars. I'm a huge XQC fan and found you through him. I've been binge watching all of your YouTube videos and matches. First time in the stream, so excited. Hello, Vihar. Thank you, Jimmy Two Toes. Uh, really glad. Those of you who are coming from XQC's chat, I'm I'm glad that you you like the content. I really do appreciate it. Um, so thank you so much. Okay, C5. I can play Rook D1, and I can take and put the Bishop here because he's going to put the Knight here to attack this pawn three times. Um, thank you to midi feed for the prime. Thank you so much. Or he plays a6. So I'll still play rookie one again. Consolidate the center. Protect everything here. And now he's really, he's trying not to trade. So he's trying to force me to make my move. So I'm going to go d5 and create a connect four. Of course, he plays e5. So I'll go g3. Now if knight h5, the pawn covers the square. Secondarily, I can now fianchetto my bishop on this diagonal. And long term, I probably want to play for f4 or knight h4 to prevent f5. Yes, Chad, I'm aware of I'm aware of Felix's issues. Um, I'm just gonna go Bishop G2. If F5, I will just take. Okay, now I'm gonna play Knight E2. If F5 again, I'm gonna take and go Knight F4 because of the pin. That doesn't really concern me. I think Knight D2. Play Knight C4 if he takes. Hmm. I'm gonna go A4. He'll take. I'll or I'll take. Who is Felix? Who is Felix? This is Twitch, right? Play Queen B3. I mean, <laughs> who is Felix? <sighs> okay, that's a slight issue. I'm just gonna go rookie two and take. <laughs> who is Felix? Who are you? Let's play Knight B5. Um. <laughs> Oh, is Bulldog a streamer? I don't know who this guy is. Is this guy a streamer? I, I don't know who I'm playing. We need a camera for your hand, hand, uh, your hand mouse movements. Oh, that's an interesting thought. I mean, I could do that, I guess. But okay, I think I'm gonna take with this one and put the knight here, maybe. Who am I? Who are you? Who is who? Who are you? I am you, right? Isn't that a joke from like uh from uh from what is it from Rush Hour? Who are you? 
Isn't there some joke in Rush Hour like that? Or am I insane, chat? There's some joke in Rush Hour 3, like, right? Like, I'm you or something? Yeah, there's, there's some some stupid joke, I remember. Um, okay, let's play Rook A1, Queen C3, Queen B3, of course. He is me, and I am you. Yeah, he is me, and I am you. Right, exactly, chat, yeah. Pretty silly stuff. But anyway, um, okay, Rook A4, I go Rook F1, Rook E1, and I guard the pawn. I know who you are, but what am I? <laughs> okay, let's play Rook E1. Um... Let's play Bishop F1. Wait, Bulldog is the biggest uh, Dota streamer? No, but this is not. This is a different Bulldog, yeah. Yeah, it's a silly rush hour thing, but it is funny nonetheless when you hear it. Um, oh, I blundered. Shoot. That's very annoying. Um, let's go Queen B2. I'm still probably okay, actually. So even though black's up a pawn, he creates actually a good structure for me here. I go queen a6, and this is not easy for black. This a pawn is fast. If queen moves, I go knight c4. And oddly enough, this blunder by me turns it into a winning position. What? This is insane. This A pawn is so fast. I'm gonna make another grill up here on at the end of the board. At 5k subs, I don't know what I'm doing yet, chat, but I'll figure it out. So I hit the pawn, threaten to push. Okay, that's a good move. Now I think I go knight here to go here in a7. Again, if knight a7, just knight b5, and I'm, I'm making this looks so dangerous. I don't understand how black is swapping this pawn. And now I just put everything here, and this is just game over. Um, like, I guess knight here, hit the pawn. I just solidify the structure, bring the king in. Everything is blockaded on the light squares, so I should just be winning. Let me just make some good moves. Let's go here. Takes. I'm gonna bring the knight back to c4. Bring the knight here. Now knight f5, and now the pawn falls, and with it, the game falls as well. Get an eye, eye tracker for content. Yeah, I uh, um, eye tracker totally. Chat, come on, let's chill out. Let's, let's be serious. No objectifying. Um, let's play knight f6 here. Um, I will play. Um, I'll play c5. Okay. So queen b6. Put pressure on the pawn. Pressure on the pawn. Um. I'll just take and play d6. Or d5, probably just d6. If I use queen d4, that's a strange move. I don't think it's a good move. Because now I can bring the queen back and threaten to fork the queen and the bishop. He's going to have to move the queen somewhere here, and I think I'm doing well. Have I ever solved the Rubik's Cube? So, so chat, no, I have not. Um, but I do know somebody who was formerly a very good, uh, who was a very good um, a Rubik's Cube solver. His name is Tyson Mao. He is from uh, from California, from the Bay Area. So um, he was on he was on some TV show, I think, as well. Let's play Queen B6. Um, uh, but yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's play Bishop E6. I want to go Rook C8 and attack here. Yeah, it's pattern recognition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. I just play Rook C8. Really trying to angle an attack here on the queen side as fast as I can. Um, wait, what's that at 5,000? What? At 5,000 subs, challenge chess brought to a 10 minute chess match? Yeah, right. I'm going to go a6 and bishop d7 here. Um, or bishop d. Actually, bishop d5 is interesting too, but I think d7 would just be practical. He's going to take, I will take back. If CVS hit 65 tomorrow, I'm buying your channel. Okay. All right. Oh, we sold off at the end of the day. How disappointing. Okay. Um, I'm going to play... Uh, I think I'm going to play F5, E6, Bishop, G7 or something here. Maybe D5 at some point. Play checkers at 5K? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'll, I'll play Uno at 5k. Checkers, not, not going to happen. I think 
to Brook G8, Knight G5. Oh, sorry, Knight G5, I have to go like um, Knight E5, I think. If takes, maybe Bishop E7 and Rook G6 looks good. Play no, but chat. I'm gonna play league. I'll do something in league with with uh, with boy boy. There's that's like not even a question. Regardless of subs, I'm 100% doing something in league. It's just a question of when. Um, so that's that's not really something that I can you know like it's not quite the same. Okay, let's go here. I guess rook g6. Got to move the queen somewhere, and then I'm probably gonna play d5 and try to attack here. Like try to attack this pawn, create space for my bishops. Okay, but now I just take. Just drop the bishop back. I don't really understand what this accomplishes. Now I go knight. I just go knight c4. Takes, I take and go c3. Okay, but now I go bishop. Um, hmm. Takes, takes, takes. That looks good. Are the chess pro plans worth it? You mean being a professional chess player? If you're at the very top in chess, it's definitely worth it. You make a good living. If you're not in the top 25, 30 players in the world, though, it's a very tough living as a chess player. So, um, you know, it's very, very hard if you're not if you're not in the top 25, 30. And think about how, how good you have to be to reach the top 25 or 30 to begin with. Like, it's completely insane. I mean, you have to be really, really in incredible. I'm going to take and go king e7. I'm up like 20 pawns here, so not hang this. Now rook h8. Um, yeah, I give him. Let's not be cute here. So let's just go rook h8, rook g7. Normally I'd be a little bit cute with f6, h5, rook g5, but no, I'm not going to be cute here. So rook g8. He's going to go knight e5. I'm going to go rook h7. G1. But I think I can play. Yeah, I go f6 and on takes, I take and I take, and now he loses this. And what did he lose this game? I just take. Okay, now I think just. Well, I, um, I'm just gonna take and just no, no nonsense takes. And now the pawns start to roll here, so it's gonna be really unpleasant for, for for White to deal with. Oh, I, oh my gosh, a blunder rook takes f4. Jeez. go here create another pass pawn this pawn is gonna go okay now though it's just too much I go f3 e4 well I don't know why I did it like this I'm still way up on the clock so it's not a problem but eh, it's a little bit iffy the way I played this game fell into a burning ring of fire play knight f3 b3 next move on bishop b2 burns ring of fire the ring of fire let's play c4 d4 or actually uh no i'll play something different this game last game i wasn't impressed this is johnny cash chat oh oh right johnny cash so it's like i'm a boomer it's not being generous, so shouldn't I be like uh, something worse than a boomer? Because Johnny Cash is not recent at all. Um, thank you to Degenicite for the prime. Thank you. I'll just take. Okay, the pawn is under attack. He goes e6. I'll play knight c3 and rook c1. Knight e1, knight g2 here. Johnny Cash is like, what, 1821, right? <laughs> Johnny Cash is 1821. Uh, I think I'm going to take and play knight d3, knight b4 here. If c5, I'd probably go b5, or b5, I'd go c5, c6. I've played a couple of games of the league, but I've been watching some videos recently, so I'm going to go knight b4, hit the pawn. I'll play d5 next move. still play like I'm gonna go d5 oh he's got a5 oh, oh he misses it okay 
Okay, I think I'm gonna play bishop a3 here again. Max pressure against this pawn on d6 if I can get it. No, of course I'm not good at league chat, but that's that's why it's gonna be fun when I when I do it on stream. Um, okay, I think I will. Hmm. I don't have a good move. I want to play knight here, but it doesn't work. I think I'll just play f4 to force the structure open here. Um, thank you to Lokaz for the tier one. Thank you so much to Lokaz for the tier one. Okay, now he goes to f5, which actually kind of makes me happy because I thought I could now develop everything in, the, in a very like harmonious way here. I'm going to bring the knights in. Oh, but I gave him b5. Why did I play knight c2? He doesn't see it. Let's go knight d4. Well, taking oh he can take yeah he takes this way okay i'll go knight b5 pressure on the pawn permanently now um thank you to provolopa for the seven months thanks so much um thank you for the great con you made me cry in the final match against mags i mean i wasn't i didn't i didn't i didn't really think we played great shots I, I still don't think we played great shots i think magnus is being way too generous um play rookie one put the rook on e6 here oh that's a good move um yeah that's a very <sighs> I'm just playing this one. Let's go rook c2. I guess I drop the knight back to c3. Maybe I go knight g3, knight h5, possibly. At any rate, maybe just rook f2. Knight c6 is again a threat. Uh, thank you to kill deer for the 1,000 bits. Um, Got to be a little bit careful here. Maybe just h3 to stop knight g4. Yeah, rook e3, rook c3. Okay, now he plays this, which actually feels kind of wrong. I'll go rook f3. Because now the pawn is always under, it's always going to be a check if he moves the rook. Um, knight e4. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go knight d3 to guard the pawn this way. A4, strange move. I can play B4. I can also go knight f2. I'm going to go knight f2 and rook b3, I guess. And I'm going to use this A pawn now to run run it up the board. Now I go A4, A5. I don't even care about this pawn because he can't put a rook on A7. So this A pawn is just, like, just going to go really, really fast here. Um, I'm actually not even sure how black is stopping this pawn. I don't think he is. So I'll go here, a7, and rook a6 next move. And it feels really, really bad. And now I go rook b6 and rook b8, and this must be just losing. I don't see it. f3, just king f1. Or king f... Actually, king f2. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> King F1 must be winning. Just GG's. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Uh, I think just here. A G2, King F2. Check, King G1, Bishop F4, Rook B3, and that's all she wrote. Okay, gonna win again. We're halfway to an adoption. We're getting close. Rook B1. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is not the worst idea I've ever seen. But he has no time, so there's nothing you can do here. Okay, we keep going. Halfway there, five more to go. Let's keep playing the same, like, D6, E5. Mm -hmm. 97, F, um, let's play F5. I'm gonna take with a pawn and play Knight F6. Oh, oh he's got this. Mm. 
Oh, this is actually kind of ugly. I'm gonna have to chalk and play knight g6. This is really gonna be ugly. Knight g6, he goes to like g3, I guess. If takes, I take with a pawn. At least my structure is kind of okay. Not very happy with it, but I can at least play. But now I think I can just. Wait, wait, wait. No, maybe. Wait. Takes queen e4. Um, knight f6 and rook e8. I mean, I just got queen d4, though. Why did I do this? Maybe knight e4 and queen f6, but still not very pretty for me. Queen f6. Don't really want to sack a pawn here, but I've got a really ugly position. Um, I guess I'm just going to sack a pawn. Why not? Aha, uh -huh. he takes with the rook. I was not expecting that. Okay, go bishop f5 takes. I have rookie two coming. Okay. Uh, of course, I have to play like. Uh, it's just a6. Oh, he's got c5. take and play king f7 i'm down a pawn and just much worse here thank you to leprechauns for the three dollar tip thank you so much to leprechauns i saw this good 95 here thank you to again kps for the prime thank you so much where's the adoption bro where's the adoption Although, actually, he's misplayed this. I'm going to get knight g4 and knight takes h2 and a move or two. So, this is very tricky. No stream today from XQC. Yeah, I mean, I think he's having, he's just having, you know, stuff going on. What to do? It is weird, though, not seeing XQC for a couple of days. It's just like such a foreign concept, honestly. Can I make a check? I think I can still just take. Oh. I should do it anyway, though. Just rook D. Eh, a rook G. Eh. Um, okay, so rook D8. Knight G4, I guess. Knight F6 or something. Takes Knight F6. I'm, it's a draw, but I'm up on the clock. So I can definitely play this. Wait, I see three, I guess. Hit the pawn. Maybe seven. Oh, I knight see one, maybe. Okay, it's very slow here, so maybe I can trick him. I think I go a5 here. Knight b2 maybe. I have to move the knight, like maybe knight e4. I saw it. I don't know why I played this either.
Wait, what is that a mistake? <laughs> he just slipped. <laughs> okay, King C7 and game. <laughs> okay, I'll take it, but I mean that's for that's freaking weird. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's really weird. Um, let's play E4. Uh, let's play D3 Knight D2 here. Um, we keep going. Play like G3. Yeah, that was a very poor game by my opponent. I'm not gonna lie, that was very very poor. Let's castle play rook E1. Yeah, maybe he wants to be adopted. I don't know. Okay, let's play E5 Knight Knight F1. Just click on the square. Yeah, I think he just clicked the square, right? I mean, like it was complete accident, but hey, it happens. Sometimes bad things happen, you know. Knight H2, Knight G4, of course. C3, Queen D2, I guess. This guy's not bad, by the way, Chad. He's he's definitely a reasonable player. Um, I think I'm gonna play A4, B4, C4, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Let's go C4 here. Admiral Bulldog, Admiral Bulldog, yeah, exactly, chat, totally. Not as bad as Eric. <laughs> I doubt that, chat. I must run an orphanage, right, chat, exactly. Okay, now he's gonna go, but see, this I thought was bad, because I think, I feel like long-term there's supposed to be some tricks with like a 94 and like I can sack over here. So even though he gets a square, I think the, the my piece placement is more important than the square. It's like knight h6 is a massive threat now, like massive threat. Um, I know why I emphasize the massive. That was just weird. Um, okay, now I can play some check. I thought, or maybe am I gonna sack here? I, I really kind of want to sack, but I can't. So I'm just gonna play b3, consolidate. Um, I'm playing E Rob second account. Yes, chat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My laugh never disappoints. Thanks, you guys. Okay. So, okay. Now he's begging. He's just asking for me to sack. There's got to be some way to sack where I'm winning here. Oh, yes, I can sack and go queen. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't work. Wait. Wait, queen b1, knight f5, bishop h3, or g4. Takes, takes. Or g4 are too messy. I think queen b1. Play rook a2, rook e2, I guess. I mean, at some point I'm gonna play bishop h3 and sack here. It's like, it's just inevitable because I have to sack. GM XEC is greater than I am E Rob, yeah. Okay, now I feel like I should sack, but I still don't see it. So I'm gonna drop the knight back, bring the reroute the knight, take and go knight d6 maybe if he plays like rook d3 because my bishop and pawn are really, really good here. Um, okay, that's a weird, okay, no, it's maybe not a weird one. I'll go bishop g2. This guy's playing well. This game, he's really fighting hard. Uh, I'm gonna go knight of three. Because g4 is a big. Whoa, okay. Let's see one. Queen c2 and takes. Oh, but he's got queen d3. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, and he sees it, of course. Um. I just take and go knight d2. Not so thrilled by this, but you keep going. Um, the longest I've gone without sleeping, I, I don't, I don't know right off. Um, but I think I can take first of all. And I hit the bishop. If he takes, I capture. He moves the bishop. He loses this, so he just loses. So now I'm just up a pawn. His knight is not good. I'm gonna bring my king in to kick the rook. I guess he still has so let's bring the king in. You know, I should take should be this should be winning somehow. Let's go here and knight g5. And 
now rook d1 and i think checkmate is coming king e1 and just checkmate the knight covers the squares if he tries to come up he pushes i just ignore it and again he's just getting mated on d8 i should do a l'oreal com commercial mate luscious hair luscious hair thank you uh, appreciate it um all right let's keep going three more games to go let's keep going play g6 bishop g7 here play d6 i mean we're three away so i just need to play three more good games three more good games and then then we're almost we're home free let's play um okay he's gonna do this line again so i don't want to mess up this time let's play this knight f6 why not just something traditional Develop first before I put all the pieces here. Okay, now I'm gonna castle. Um, he's, I guess, yeah, he's just gonna castle. We'll go knight h7. Idea to play f5 or bishop f6 here. I think I can just take and go knight c8 actually. Just take this pawn on h4. It looks like a free pawn. Do I use a particular app for my phone to play chess, you mean? What do you mean? What do you guys mean? <laughs> um, what, what do you guys mean? Sorry. Um, I guess I just... What am I missing? Takes? Takes, I just take. Okay, but now... I thought I could just take. Just take and go queen g5, and now he has to trade queens. And now, without queens on the board... I mean, I feel like I should be doing completely fine here. Just put the rooks on e8 and e7. Doesn't look special. Um, I think I'll just play h4 and king g7 and h3, basically. And now next move is king g7, of course, to remove this rook. It's very annoying rook. It's like all up in my business here. So king g7. I play Bishop G4. <laughs> I had forgotten that line. I freaking forgotten that line. Oh, I had forgotten that line. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's play a five. I had forgotten that line, chat. Honestly, I had forgotten that line was in the song. <laughs> Uh, let's go 97 and take the pawn. <laughs> question mark, right? Question mark. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez. Sorry, chat. Um, okay, sorry. I don't know why that's funny. I think it's because it's been a relatively long stream. Not super long, of course, but relatively long. So I just like, I, I forgot that line was in there. So it's just, I don't know, for some reason that made me laugh. Uh, I think now I just lose his material because I guess he has this move, but he's down a lot of stuff here. Um, let's just take. Um, I think just rookie eight and rookie one looks pretty good. Thank you, Kerbal Kappa, for the prime. Thank you so much. I think just rook f five and rookie three. And now I hit the bishop. I can push the pawn, and it's just like it's all really, really good here for me. Um, and my chest will pock. <laughs> I was like, oh. I guess check and knight of four maybe. I think I just take and make a check. I mean discovery, rook, rook, king, everything collapses. GG's. Alright, this is eight in a row. We're what two away? Two away from glory? Let's play E4 this time. Let's play knight of three. Something a little bit sharper. This should be chess warlord going hard. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's go bishop b5. Uh, play knight c3, knight b5, of course. Make good. Make a check and take. Adopt him already. 
just adopt him already. Like, yo. Okay, let's go Bishop F4, Castle, and Rook D4. Okay, I take... Um, he's supposed to have the King on D7, not D8 here. He must play this line. I just castle, of course, and play rook d4. Just takes, check, GG's pretty much. Um, this is just game over almost. I think black's close to loss. Chess Warlord, bing bangs and booms his way to the top, yeah. Why am I playing him over and over? Because I'm trying to gain ranking points. I'm not insane at Geometry Dash. I'm decent at it, I would say. Well, okay, I'm above average. Let's be let's be serious. But I wouldn't say I'm I'm like incredibly good at it. I'm I'm above average. Okay, so Bishop D7, I can just take, I think. And play Rook D1. At least my oh, but maybe I misplayed this actually. Okay, let's play Rook D1. Seven B six G four. I'm gonna play G four G five here, I guess. How can you afford the alimony payments with all of your children over time? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play H four. Just same thing. It goes G five. I take. Okay, now I can play F four. I can also check and go here and then F four. Check. Rook C seven A six F four takes F G five G G. I think I'm just gonna play f4 anyway. And if takes, I go g5 and rook c4 and rook c7. I think it's just gotta be winning. Okay, it's okay. Um, so now I check and go rook c7. Knight f6, fg5 is winning, so I'll make a check. Rook c7. If knight f6, I just take. I remove the knight because it would defend. He can't move the bishop without losing the rook or getting checkmated. So there should be GG's again. So I think we're one away, chat. One more game to adoption. He resigns. Okay, one more, chat. One more for the adoption. One more. Let's keep it going. Play knight c6. e5. Play knight e7, I guess, here. Um, let's play something similar. I'm gonna go h5, knight f6 again. Just do the same thing. Where did the beard go? I got rid of the beard chat. The beard will be back in, in a couple of days. No worries. Let's go a6, maybe b5, maybe bishop d7. <clears throat> maybe it's queen a5, b5 here. Thought I had b5. Oh, I don't have b5. Okay, so now I just play knight h7 and castle's next move. Uh, thank you to Simon the Dwarf for the tier one. Thank you so much to Simon the Dwarf. Thank you. Uh, let's play f5. f4 is coming. He takes. Oh, I forgot that he, that was hanging. Okay, he doesn't play it correctly. So now I go f4. Um. Now I just have to be. I think I'm gonna lock the queen side. I don't like locking it, but I feel like it's in the best interest of the position for me. So I'm gonna go here, like bishop h6, knight f6. Um, let's go king e7, um, and I'll go bishop h6 next move with rook f8. That's my idea. I don't really like what I'm doing though. I don't understand what I'm doing either. Thank you to Peng Pengumas for the prime. Thank you so much to Pengumas. Okay, puts knight here, so I guess I'm gonna go knight here and bishop here, probably. Okay, I'm gonna go rook g8 and g5 at the right moment, but I'm also gonna kind of delay it a little bit. Um, thank you to Whiplashio for the um, 
for the uh, for the t for the Prime. Thank you so much. Once again, you guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, uh, you get one free sub every month. So make sure to link your Amazon or your Twitch, and you get a free subscription to one channel every single month. Now, I thought I had Nightshade Four, maybe. It feels a little bit bold. It feels too bold somehow, but maybe it's not. Um, I'm just gonna move here. I mean, I really want to play it. It doesn't work, though, so I guess I'll go B6 here. I'm going to slowly play for this move. I just got to slow it down and put it play G5 at the right moment. Wait, whoops, I'll play 98. I'm going to bring the king back. I'm going to slowly bring every piece around here. doesn't really worry me yet. I'm going to bring my king to B7 or to B8. at the right moment. We're just not there yet. do this. I'm going to do king g5. <sighs> Frick. I'm gonna sack it here, why not? I just got bishop e2, which he misses. Um, go here. h4, at least I get h4, so now I get to play again. Oh, I blundered rook b3, oh my god. Crap, okay, I'm gonna try to make a draw here. So bad. Oh, so bad. So freaking bad. Okay. Um, guess I'll have to play like nine more now. Happens. What to do? So 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 bad. Play D4, Queen D4. Yeah, nine and a half out of ten. Freaking pathetic. Uh, I should be so disappointed in my very very underwhelming performance. Um. Let's play bishop g5, probably queen d3 and castles or something. That was a very, very... I'm lucky I drew the game, by the way, Chad. I should have lost that game, actually. I was very lucky that he missed the in-between there. Um, let's take and go knight d4. Thank you to um, Toaster Grande for the prime sub. Thank you so much to Toaster Grande. Can't watch the stream anymore. Wait, what? What do you mean you can't watch the stream anymore? What, what happened? Oh, because I didn't adopt him, you can't watch the stream? What do you mean? I'm confused. Let's go G4 all in sauces, man. Queen E3 takes and G5. Oh, he's got Queen E5. Hmm. Still Rook F1 looks good. Plays Rook D7. I think I still just play G5 and takes. I mean, this king side is very open here, I feel, so we'll see. And I feel like I can play rook h4 and rook h1. This looks very, very dangerous optically. Wait, what? I just goes king f8. I'm 
to go B4, A4 maybe? La 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 Here and king f4. Let's go king f4. Oh, he's got rook a3. Three, I guess. Oh, I had rook c4 also, but maybe I go b5 or something. King e3, king d4 here. I just blundered again. He missed it though, luckily. He could have just taken this pawn. He was doing very well. Now I think I play, I think I should just play a b5 and king d4. Rook h4, rook e2 maybe, and rook e3 looks good. Very, very tricky proposition here. I mean, I probably can't win this anymore, but again, I can probably still draw it. So let's go here. Take this rook g4, takes, takes. I'm gonna try to win this game at all costs, basically. Let's go rook f2. That's a bad move. Now I get rook f4, and he has to deal with these ideas as well. I just win, just win. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know what you guys mean. Just win, but kind of hard to just win. Wait, what? Don't I have rook f6 here or something? Then king e7 anyway. I'm trying to find some way to. Let's play rook f1 here. Oh, I blunder the pawn. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Okay, now I just have to go for broke with rook h4 and hope. I missed the pawn with hang on C2, so let's go here. I can play like rook h3, rook h8 maybe. I want to go rook h8 and checkmate him on these. Whoa, check? No, this must be winning for me. Takes or takes? Wait, no, I just... Oh, no, then he takes with the king and he attacks both rooks. I guess I just take. Knight d5. Oh, I blunder rook c. No, king d3. Just b6, why not? And b7, that's all she wrote. Alright, let's go b7 takes and. Back me. <sighs> All right, chat. So um, I am going to call it a day for now. Uh, I am actually starting to feel a little bit tired. So I'm going to call it a day right now. So um, uh, I'm just going to call it. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take head off, but I will be back tomorrow around the same time, like 1 to 2 p.m. Again, thanks to everybody who tuned in. Thanks to Boy Boy for all the games, all the entertainment, all the, all the actually the insight that he gave into chess. Um, and, and his story growing up with chess. So thank you to Boy Boy. Thanks to the mods, uh, Chess Bay, DK, Jandrina, um, uh, Poop Towel, Akila, all the mods who are here. Thank you so much. Thank you to Snake Eyes Demon for the tier one. Thank you to SJ Rope for the Prime. Thank you to Toaster Grenade for the Prime. Thank you to NG3542A for the two months. Thank you to Black Mamba for the Prime and F equals MA for the Prime. Uh, thank you again to everybody. Really appreciate it. Omop, Led Z, Whiplash. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Can I send the raid over to Botez? So I will be back tomorrow around 1 to 2 p.m. So have a great rest of your evening and see you guys tomorrow.